Speaker, Mil Morgan and Kian Corla, and I welcome the opportunity to participate in this discussion in relation to pre-European Council statements. And I, I've looked at the speech given by the Taoiseach, and there are some welcome things in it. And what stands out for me is that next week he says we will have a first discussion of the lessons learned from COVID-19 pandemic, drawing on an initial report. Now, if we're to learn anything, it was to learn that we were utterly unprepared for it because of our failure in this country to invest in public health uh, in our hospitals and we remember what the World Health Organization said going back over a year ago that the failure to act by Ireland and other countries was truly shocking. So I would like to see a transformative action coming out of this and making language mean something. There are many other things I would like to look on. Time is limited. Um, some of them have been mentioned by my colleague Thomas Pringle in relation to Hungary and Poland, in relation to um, refugees. We're 16 million people displaced now, the highest ever since the Second World War. But I'm going to use just my two minutes to focus, uh, Minister, on Colombia. And I'm actually um, surprised and shocked that it's not mentioned, given the level of unrest and violence and deaths in Colombia um, in the last while, and this space particularly since April of this year. And I know we have the former Thonisht and the former leader of the Labour Party as the EU envoy, and I understand he's deepening his understanding of Colombia as we speak in relation to this matter. But I would ask that we would use our role on the UN Security Council, which is very special and a very privileged role. And we got that because of hard work on the part of the government, but also because we're respected as an independent voice. And I would ask, Minister, that we reduce that voice and that Colombia, at the very least, would go down on the next Council um, meeting on the agenda and number one on the top of it. The figures are absolutely horrific. This, this protest, this one, followed on from 19 and 20, but this unrest followed from the end of April. And if we look at Human Rights Watch, they tell us they've confirmed that 34 deaths occurred in the context of the recent protest, including two officers officers, one criminal investigator and 31 demonstrators are bystanders. And there are many other figures that I could quote for you, but time is limited. So I'm going to look at what two organisations on the ground, non-governmental organisations, tell us. And they're two highly respected NGOs. They tell us there have been 43 massacres committed in Colombia this year alone, up to June 19, with 164 victims and a massacre defined as the killing of three or more people in this, at the same place at the same time. There has been a, a protest, as I said, which has now moved into a, 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 massive pro a massive movement for change. And what I'm asking here in my few seconds that are left is that it goes on the agenda of the EU uh, meetings, that we have reports back. And Minister, could you clarify, when does um, the Minister Simon Coveney report back to the Dáil on his role on the UN Security Council and how topics are placed on that? We have a very good relationship with Colombia. I had the privilege of meeting the Ambassador in a different role lately, and we have connections going back to Roger Casement. But we've got to use our voice in relation to what's happening there at the moment and the unacceptable level of state violence or state-sponsored violence. Garmago de Gencorla. 